Hello, my name is Wesley Gaynor, and today we're going to talk about distracted driving, how to perform the circle for safety. Here at Wendell Foster, we want to provide everybody with the safest environment possible in which to work, live, and receive services. Now, so far in 2022, we've experienced a 42% increase in vehicle incidents. Because of this, we want every employee to perform a circle for safety before driving a vehicle. Now, a circle for safety is a safety procedure where you walk around the entire vehicle and then you make sure while doing that that the area around your vehicle is safe before driving off. This small act will increase your situational awareness. Again, this needs to be performed every single time you're driving a window foster vehicle. And I understand there's going to be some questions such as what if you only pull over or park for a few seconds or maybe a minute? Do you still have to do this? Well, in response, let me ask you this question. When that happens at any time, were you distracted? Did you become unaware of any condition that might have changed around your vehicle? Did somebody park next to you? Did someone place a grocery cart behind your vehicle? Or is there a child walking or playing in your blind spot? If at any time the answer could be yes, the circle for safety needs to be performed. In summary, you need to perform a circle for safety before you enter the vehicle to begin your route. Also, you need to do this after loading and unloading passengers or any time you've been sitting idle or parked for a period of time. In fact, any time conditions may have changed without you being aware, you need to perform a circle for safety.